वाहेगुरु जी का खालसा वाहेगुरु जी की फतेह इन दिस सेशन वी आर गोइंग टू लुक एट मोर पंजाबी वर्ड्स वेयर वी आर हैविंग ओनली थ्री लेटर्स द फर्स्ट वर्ड फॉर टुडे इज अमर व्हाट साउंड्स यू आर हियरिंग फ्रॉम दिस वर्ड अमर अमर थ्री साउंड्स थ्री लेटर्स अ म र amar right this is ada ada is going to give the sound of a this is mama mama is going to give the sound of m and this is rara rara is going to give the sound of r it will become amar amar means immortal second word is karaz k r z k r and z karaz means loan or you can say debt one important point that i would like to discuss here is that in everyday conversation most of the times the punjabis do not use this letter instead of saying karaz they will say karaj so instead of using this zaza they will be using the other jaja they will say it in this way without the dot very very few people very few people you are going to see who are going to use the bindi wale letters in their everyday conversations usually we punjabi students use them but the correct way of writing is this karaz third word is sharam sh r m let's write it down Y, dot, r, and then m. Sharam is usually translated as modesty. So in the second word, we discuss that bindi wale letters, right? Usually they are not used by Punjabis when we usually speak. but when it comes to sasse par bindi right that letter is used and you cannot replace sasse par bindi with a sasa let me show you so instead of saying sharam you cannot say saram we cannot say this there has to be a bindi here this is the exception actually you can say we should actually pronounce it in this way karaz but we don't we usually say it karaj okay but when it comes to sasse par bindi this is the exception we cannot replace sasse par bindi with just sasa saram we cannot say that in gurbani however we have to read it in the way it is written and very few times we use the bindi there or dot there you can say but in punjabi as punjabi is different from gurbani we do not do that so when gurbani was getting written right in the earlier centuries bindi wale letters were not there and bindi was actually not there that is why it is mandatory to have santhya so that you would know where to put bindi or where to put dot and where not to so just remember this the next word is rakam rakam means money the last word that we are going to discuss today is sadak what 
letters we are using here sadak s okay this is s s ad this is adada and then k sadak means road all right lastly let's discuss about this again this sasa right here we have sase parbindi we cannot replace sase parbindi with sasa here also instead of saying sadak we cannot say sadak we cannot replace it with this we can do that don't worry about these things we will learn them in more detail when we reach at level 5 there we are going to learn how we drop the letters when we speak or how we pronounce a particular word differently we are going to write it in a different way and we are going to pronounce it in a different way these are some advanced topics that we will learn later but just for the time being remember this thing that we cannot replace sasa with sasse par bindi but when we speak usually other bindi wale akshars we can interchange like instead of zaza we can use jaja anyways if you still have some questions please let me know in the comment section below wahiguru ji ka khalsa wahiguru ji ki fateh